me again, welcome back to Wex Amelia Rec and my June favourites video. It is officially summer which you would not know by looking out my window at the torrential rain and torrential wind. <laughs> so if you can hear that in the background I apologise, welcome to the British summertime. But it's that time again where we talk about all of my favourite products from the month of June and this time I've got quite a few newbies actually so let's get cracking. Okay first of all is an oil that I've been trying out for a long long time. My skin loves oils, I have acne prone skin which is probably setting alarm bells off in a lot of your minds but actually moisture is really great for um, oily skin because it stops it from overproducing if it's moisturized enough so my, my skin absolutely loves oils I love the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate for nighttime I've got the Kiehl's daytime one for the day um, I've tried the uh, Body Shop one and quite likes that but this is a new one um, from well it's new to me from a company called Amelia Moss good name uh, and it's the rose hip oil which is you can kind of tailor their oils to your particular skin my skin loves everything rose um, I've got the Jolique uh, face mist the rose water balancing mist my skin loves that I love the smell of rose and I've been using this for a while it is a pure oil so it's a little bit scary it's like bright orange <laughs> when you put it on your face and um, I tend to use it every other day instead of every day because it's, it's quite concentrated uh, but I love it and my skin has felt amazing since I've started using it especially when it's been dried out because I've been on holiday or something um, I just love this so definitely check this company out I'm going to be doing a bit more research into them before I do a blog post on it because uh, I want to make sure that they've kind of got a little bit something for everybody but rosehip oil it's got vitamin A, omega-6 fatty acids, uh, it treats scars and stretch marks and damaged skin which is really great for me because I have loads of acne scarring on my cheeks underneath my foundation which if you watch my weekly vlogs you'll have seen every day <laughs> uh, and it smooths the complexion, improves elasticity and re reduces the appearance of sunspots and UV damage. Uh, so yeah I'm 28, I'm approaching 30 so I need to kind of moisturise my skin and look after damage to it as much as possible. I've just been really really liking this um, and I haven't broken out with it at all yeah this is a good one uh, and keep an eye out for this on the blog because yeah I'm probably gonna be doing a blog post on this quite soon because I think people need to know about this company but I would be just very careful if you do buy something from there um, don't use it every single day morning and night just kind of ease your skin into it because they are quite concentrated they're like you know 100% organic oils next is a new brand of fake tan so Joe and I went on holiday a couple of weeks ago and before I go on holiday I always fake tan if you haven't seen our travel vlog yet go watch it because it's really really good we went to Cyprus and it was lovely and I'm all nice and brown uh, and this is real tan <laughs> but before I go away I always fake tan and um, I kind of left it to the last minute this month and month like I go away every month um, but I kind of left it to the last minute this time uh, and I didn't have my trusty Samaritz I run out or when I try to use it it came out a bit green <laughs> so I think I've had it for a little bit too long needed to go in the bin but I did have some samples from Hishi um, which I've had for a while I've been meaning to try out but every time I thought I'm gonna give this a go I didn't want to risk it just in case it was rubbish because it was before a big event and I thought I don't want to end up orange at this big event so I had no choice I had to use it and you know what it's really really good I was very impressed it is a liquid I prefer mousse kind of fake tans because I just find them a little bit easier to put on uh, but this is the express liquid tan in medium I put it on before I went to bed I used my uh, wonder mitt or whatever it's called this amazing tanning mitt that I've got I've got that in a previous favorite somewhere uh, and I went to sleep in it and I woke up in the morning perfect tan no streaks really nice color it wasn't orange it was very natural um, and it was great Re so I was very very impressed so I'll be using this again I'm going away again tomorrow oh my goodness so I need to fake tan tonight oh my goodness totally unprepared again um, I'm going to be using this again before I go away just to give me a bit of a top up uh, and it's, it's just great and I've got loads of other products from them in my to try drawer over there I know that they've got like mousses, instant tanners, uh, exfoliators and everything I'm going to give them all a proper good go and then do a blog post on it but I'm really impressed by this so if you're looking for a different kind of fake tan this is the one and I am super pale before I uh, get a tan so if you're really really pale and you're worried about applying fake tan I have a tutorial on it um, so if you look on my channel it's under the tutorials playlist and it's how to apply your fake tan and it's my foolproof way of doing it because I'm super super pale and I always worry about streaks if you follow my instructions 
you'll be fine trust me next one is a new product that i've recently been sent by rhodial uh, and it's super acids extreme hangover mask this sounds like a mask that was made for me on <laughs> the weekends so um it's basically a resurfacing and refining face mask um it's a clay mask but it's not super super dry and like sticks to your face like clay masks usually are it's quite a gentle clay mask um and i used this the other day and I really liked it. I didn't have a hangover, but <laughs> I just come back from holiday and my skin was like really, really dry and a little bit, you know how it is after you've been on a plane for a while. Um, I loved it. I really liked it. My skin loved it and I just felt super dewy afterwards. I'm going to keep using this and again, I'm going to do a blog post on it because I'm really, really liking this. First impressions, love it. Uh, but yeah, this is the only face mask that I've used throughout the month of June, so um, I thought I'd put it in my favourites. Okay, so if you're on social media, you've probably seen uh, loads of bloggers getting massive boxes from Benefit with their brand new brow range in. I was super lucky to get one. I love Benefit. I use so many of their products and they are my number one go-to for brows. I don't let anybody else touch my brows apart from Benefit. Uh, and there are a few new products in the range that I've been really, really impressed with. I use every single day the Benefit Browsings Kit and Gimme Brow as well, which is like a little fibre gel. But these are two new ones that I've been quite impressed with. The first one is called Cabrow, and this is a gel um, eyeshadow, uh, eyebrow colour. So it's got a little brush in the top. How neat is that? Love Benefit packaging, I think they're great. And I love the whole rebrand of the brow stuff. I think it's super, super fancy. So it's got a little angle brush in there. I probably, um, I don't use that. I use my, uh, mac 208 brush it's a little it's, a, it's an angled brush but it's longer i just find these a little bit stubby to work with um and i have the shade number three which is perfect for me it's a really warm brow color and it goes on so so well and i tried this on holiday when i was sweating around the pool and it did not budge really impressed with this if you're looking for something a little bit different to like your normal powder and gel combination and the second one, they've released two new brow pencils. The first one is called Goof Proof Brow Pencil, which I really like, but this one I like even more. It's their Precisely My Brow Pencil. So it's got a spoolie on one end and the spoolies are actually really, really good. Not all spoolies were created equal, uh, but these ones are great. Uh, and then on the other end, you have a very, very, very small, very thin, very precise, twist up um, eyebrow pencil. And do you know what? It just works so well for drawing on individual hairs and really creating um, a natural brow look. I love it. This and the Goof Proof go really well together. You can kind of fill in large areas of the Goof Proof pencil, which is a little bit thicker. Um, and then you can kind of like do the individual hairs with this one. Love it. I have a whole review of the whole benefit range on my blog. I believe it's now I got when this is up I think it will be live now if not it will be live in the week so again make sure you're following on blog living and then you won't miss it when it comes out um, but I'm really impressed with the new range and I think it looks so pretty if you're gonna get a brow product to start off with I would recommend the goof proof brow pencil if you're brand new and gimme brow if you're looking to step things up a little bit these two awesome Another new product that I found when I was clearing out my beauty stash, I've got loads of products to try. Um, I've actually hired a team of contributors on my blog, which is super exciting news. We are expanding um, and I've got some amazing girls who are trying out loads of beauty products for me because I just have so much in the house that I can never get round to it all. Um, but when I was clearing things out and sending some samples off to them to try, I came across some of the new Urban Decay stuff. Now this is the new Afterglow 8 hour powder highlighter. It comes in a number of shades and it is gorgeous. Like so, so good. I have this in Aura, which is like a really light kind of shimmery baby pink. Let me see if I can put some on there. It's like a really white shimmery pink. I have some on my cheeks at the moment and it's just beautiful. Oh my goodness, it's so flawless. It's maybe a little bit too much for me now with a tan. I could probably do with a uh, kind of like a golden bronzy colour instead. Uh, but it's it's just, it's beautiful. The way it reflects light, gorgeous. And it really does last. It comes in such a neat little package. It's like um, magnetic on the top. I just think the packaging is so neat, really sturdy. If you're looking for a good highlighter, because I have been using my... Too Faced Candlelight Highlighter for a long, long time, which is a double one, it looks like that. I love this, I think it's great. 
this has now taken over that for me which has taken some doing because I've been using that for a long time so well done Urban Decay you have converted me and my shiny shiny cheeks <laughs> And last but not least, I have been doing a lot of travelling recently. If uh, you are not subscribed to my channel yet, click that subscribe button because we do loads of stuff on here uh, and we're doing a lot more travel. So if you've seen my travel vlogs, you'll know that I've recently uh, been to, ooh, I don't know, Gran Canaria, Amsterdam uh, and we went to Cyprus and as of tomorrow I'm going on an ultra luxury cruise which I cannot wait for. When this video goes live I will be on the ship right there so come and follow me on Instagram at xmediax and leave me a comment let me know that you come from the June favourites um, and you can come and have a look at all my lovely travel photos but because I've been travelling a lot I need power and I was sent this really clever little package from Elixir. Elixir is that how you say it? I think so. This kind of dropped through my door and it's, you know when something arrives and you're like ooh 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 that's a really good idea. This kit is amazing. So it has the main power pack which we have here which has four USB chargers in it so you can charge up to four USB devices for iPhones, iPhone, iPad, um, Kindle, anything with a USB charger you can charge it in here and then you just put your plug depending on where you are in the world and slot it into there and it plugs into the wall so it fits into any plug socket amazing and you can charge four devices from one thing and that's not all it comes with two little um charging adaptory things so they're they're your ends that go into it they're the usb and then on this end it's got like a i don't know what it's called but the like the kindle charger and i assume it does other phones as well and then it's got the lightning cable for um an ipod or an, or, or an iphone so you've got two of those and they kind of like unravel so they're really really neat and they don't get tangled up and it's currently in my handbag but and i have a um it comes with a little credit card sized super thin charging block so you can charge on the go basically and that has the lead already in the charger so you just flip the lead out plug it into the bottom of your phone and you're good to go and honestly it's the it's the it's probably about ooh, it's probably about the thickness of that lid and as big as that camera like that way round it's amazing it would literally just slide into a wallet or your purse like a credit card um, and it juices your phone up quite well um, I think I've charged my phone twice from one charge of the charger it's just a really clever kit and if you take out all the sponge on the inside um, you can fit loads more stuff in there so like other gadgety bits and other wires it's so clever I will leave the links for it down there I don't know how much it is but we have used it to death and I will not travel without it it's just it's just so clever, so handy. So if you're into your travel, this is for you. But that is it for our June favourites. What have we got going on in July? In July, I'm off on my cruise. Next week, I'm also going to Bucharest for a little um, weekend away. I've got loads of dinners with friends and catching up with friends. Um, there's loads going on in July. It's gonna be a really exciting month, so. If you enjoyed this video don't click don't forget to click the like button leave me a comment down below let me know your favorite item if you've tried any of these if you will be trying any of these or if you have any recommendations for clay face masks uh fake tan anything like that leave me a comment down below let me know subscribe if you are new welcome to our little youtube family uh and yeah that's about it so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again soon Bye. I'll also be giving you my top five tips for starting your very first job or if you're fancying a change of career. So keep watching if you want to find out what they are.